Welcome back to Tommy Bites Life. So as you can see, we are in my pantry and I have a lot of gaps. I always tell y'all about the gaps um, <laughs> in the grocery stores, but your girl got some gaps here. But some of my gaps are because I did give a lot of food away to the church food pantry around, well, down the road from me. I don't attend that church, but I found out that they had a food pantry and they had a need. And I ain't eaten every single thing, so I gave away a lot of food. But I still have a lot of food. But I do need to stock up on the main staples that we eat. And I like to keep peanut butter in, in here. I only have one jar down here and one jar. I have another pantry which is upstairs. Um, I have my working pantry that I use on a daily. I have this pantry right here for long term. I also have my freezer pantry as well where I have two freezers and I do I can use my um, power stations if need be if the power were to go out to plug those up. Um, and I have some medications as well. Y'all see uh, a lot of, if you watch my story on my other channel, All Things Tommy Max TV, I was telling you guys about the, um, pharmacy Rite Aid closing up 165 of their stores in Michigan. And they only have 185 stores in Michigan. So... We need to be stocking up on over-the-counter medication. Try to get as much of your prescribed medication as, as your insurance will allow. There's also um, companies out there that bypass a lot of that stuff, but they do have a doctor on staff. It's called Jace Medical, and then there's another one as well. I can't remember the name of it, but check into that for getting your medications. So the reason I'm in here today is because I have these items down here. So I was getting a phone call. Um, I have things down here on the floor that I need to put away. Some of those things are to put together a pack for my um, kids when they go off as an emergency pack because where they're going, you know, is on the coast and you have storms, etc. Um, so I'm trying to get together some stuff and put that in a little um, container for them. So some things will just go into a grocery bag and just be set onto the uh, shelf until I'm ready to pack them up. So yeah, that's what I'm doing in here today. And I thought I'd just give you a quick tour of the prepper pantry. So y'all don't need to watch me put up this stuff right here I've shown my pantry so many times before I'll actually link a video in here that I did on this channel I'm um, showing you my prepper pantry when it was more full <laughs> so um, leave your comments down below let me know if you're stocking up if you're new to the channel welcome in to Tiny Bites Life this is my second channel I'm praying and hoping that they will re-monetize me um, cause they demonetized me. So I'm hoping they re-monetize me come August 15th. Um, gonna try to put a little more prepping things on here as well, um, as daily vlogs and stuff like that. So I'll see y'all in the next video. Like the video up, share it out, comment down below what you're stockpiling. If you're stockpiling, do you find a need to stockpile? And is it more difficult now to buy items than it was back when I started a few years ago, you know, what in 2020 I started. So everything was a little bit cheaper and then prices gradually started going up and whatnot. And so in here I have things that I have canned myself, things that my um, mother-in-law has canned, etc. I have this jelly here, grape jelly. You can can your own jelly, you guys. All you need, all you need, 
is some Welch's grape juice. Any of my canning videos, if you want to, I've canned jellies, I've canned green beans, what else I have, pears, other vegetables, meat, I've canned oxtail soup, I have canned um, beef stew, and I've canned ground beef. So this is ground beef that's canned. You see the fat up here. Here are candied sweet potatoes, pears, applesauce, but I think everybody has eaten all of my applesauce. So that's my, that might be one thing I need to recan is applesauce. And I know I need to recan my tomato sauce because all of it's gone. I had enough for eight months. I was trying to get enough for a year but I only made it to eight months with it. So it's all gone. It was really good. And they got rid of it for me. Beef stew, fresh sage, the blue bin that I showed you, those are beans. My bad. This blue container, that is wheat berries. So what do you do with wheat berries? You can make your own bread, your own flour. These are the beef stew that I made. The bigger jar was the ones my mother-in-law made. Oxtail soup. I think that was it. Pinto beans. My mother-in-law can't more pickles. She gave us some dried onion tops. When I buy the big container, when I buy the big container of like the mashed potatoes and stuff, I try to jar it up. So I put them in here or in, in my working pantry, I have them in a bigger container to use. So that's it. That's all you guys. Leave your comments, hit the like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for all the support for my car camping setup video. I just realized how many views it got and it made me feel so good inside because I did not promote that video at all. And the fact that people came in and saw it, liked it, meant a lot. That's what those likes can do. They can make a video get out to other people. So please, 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 please hit the like. <laughs> okay, so I'll see y'all. to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know about to see the world in action what we can be like with no distractions we'll get away this is what we waited for Classic cliche, we're on the run. This is what we wait.